Right everyone, welcome Collector here. Right, it's another blade build. Uh, this one's going to be essentially based off of the gross messer that I found. It will be shaped as you see. The straight line is how I'm going to cut it. The curved line is how I'm going to shape it. It's going to have a fuller on both sides. It will have a sort of T-shaped guard, if I can do that. Made from mild steel. And a handle that has a slight curve on it to stop this slipping out your hand because it's reasonably heavy. So yeah. This is a Anglo Arms Bolo Machete. I think you can get them for about 15 quid. Well worth it for that kind of price. They're at least four mil thick. Very good for these kind of builds. So yeah, the first thing I'll do is cut that clip off, maybe shape it, and then start putting the fuller on. So that's what you'll see next. And then I'm gonna, I haven't decided what shape handle yet, but yeah, we'll see. Right, so I'll start cutting this up. So the tip's been cut, the handle's been removed. I'm going to do the fuller now while I've got while I've still got the um the grinding disc in. So what I'm gonna do, this is actually the metal for the guard. Hopefully I don't fuck it up too much, but it's the only bit of straight edge I've got that'll do this. So I'm going to use this hot glue gun to put a couple of blobs on so I can stick this on temporarily. It'll be going in the vice anyway, but if I can get this to stick, it saves me having to, you know. So yeah, that'll be glued there. And then I can put it in the vice, run the angle grinder. It's not going to be a deep fuller, because in all honesty, I don't really like doing these fullers, because you can do one little mess up, fuck the whole thing up. Right, I'm past all the worst bits for, you know, the, un, the unenjoyable uh, parts of the builds. So, the clip point has been done, we'll need ever so slightly refining and curving over, but that can be left for now. The full is done, and the tang is essentially done. We've got a nice long um, handle, and I wanted to make sure that potentially you might be able to get it with two. We'll see. Um, one and a half hands. So what I can start doing now, I'm going to cover up the blade. Whenever you do these things, as soon as you can, cover up the blade. You don't want a live blade, because this is a natural live blade. Um, as soon as you get a chance, cover that up. So that's what I'm going to do now. The blade will be wrapped up. I can work on the handle now. So it will be a mild steel guard, quite a big guard, probably about that long. And I'm going to attempt to bend one bit of this to a 90 degree, cut a little slot in this, file a slot in this a little bit, and a slot in the top of the one that's the 90 degrees. <coughs> they should get a fit into each other then, and be level, and then I may be able to put a little rivet in. Right, so I had to mute that because I left the radio on while I was doing it. Right, it bent okay. Not as tight a curve as I would like, though. Um, but, yeah, this will work. So I don't know how well you can see that. And that would be on the other side, obviously, because it would have to be on the outside. Um, yeah, I think that will work. I have no idea how long I'm going to have this, either, because it may actually be better if I had that bit all the way down 
to the bottom. I didn't film the drilling the holes. Uh, two reasons. One, it's just drilling some holes, and two, where I didn't actually, I didn't mention this earlier, but I wasn't actually expecting to do this video today. I was just bored, so I just thought I'm going to make a make the gross mess I was going to make. Um, so my camera wasn't charged, so it needs to be on the wire at the minute. The wire won't reach that far. So that's why also these cameras are a bit further back than normal. So that's the holes. What I do now, put it in a vise. And then I take an old smashed up screwdriver and I chisel between the drill holes. knock away the little bits in there right come along nicely the guard is on well the guard is fitted it's not on but um and this one on the side will work again i still don't know how long i'm going to have the piece of metal i could have it a little bit and cut the thing it's going to need to go down to at least this though i may have it the whole length I'll add a bit of weight, but this is going to be a weighty thing anyway. So, what I'm going to do now is just here, cut a little angle into it so that this will go right up to the top. So that'll just be filing it. Right, I'm pretty happy with this. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. You'll be able to see all of this perfectly at the end. But that is pretty good. That's going to be perfectly level. Um, so what I will do now is I'm going to have this full all the way down actually this piece of steel because it will be so much more solid if I do. I'll just have a bit there and then I've also got to start cutting pieces of wood in different shapes. So I now need to cut the corners off of this and round it over. Do the same for the rest of the guard. I don't know if I'm just going to cut the corners off or maybe do a bit of a pattern. I've decided to keep it simple really for this first one. If I ever do another I'll go a bit more fancy. So that's the guard. What I need to do now is drill these three holes. Right, I found a piece of wood that should hopefully work, so the handle is going to be something like that. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. So there'll be a thicker scale on one side, a thinner one, and they'll both meet. So I'm going to need to cut two of these out. Um, cut a bit out of this one so it comes level with this, and then the other one can just go round. That makes sense. So I'm just going to very, very roughly cut it out. Right, I've cut my handle slabs. I'm going to put this all together now. So you've got one side, the blade, um, etc. This will go on here, and then I'll rivet it on, which I'll show you in a second. I just need to add a little bit of glue to a couple of places just to stiffen everything up yeah but you get the general gist of things here huh? I'll show you the basic so obviously you wouldn't have the nails there but and this will be more refined just getting there If you ever do this yourself, I've never been taught how to do this, so I just did it as I go along. Don't hit when you use these thin nails. Don't hit them too hard because you can actually bend the the nail. With the big thick nails, which I prefer using, something like that. 
you don't have the risk so much but yeah these can bend sometimes when you're hitting them right get in there quite a heavy old thing this is so the handle is essentially on I can get two hands on if I want so what I'm going to do I've still not decided what this is going to be wrapped with I may do the string wrap but these bottom bits are going to have I'm going to have an aluminium plate on them in that shape it'll just tidy it up and this stuff sort of splits quite easily so I think some metal on it would be better so those need to be shaped uh, this is just a case of putting it on drawing around it cutting it out basically uh, I probably won't show myself doing that because that's not exactly difficult you know I'll just do what I've done roughly cut it out screw it on file it to the shape Right, I'm going to st string wrap the handle up to here now. So I'm going to cover this whole handle in glue and then just start wrapping the uh, string round. It's easier, if you get a bit of double sided tape, put it on. That works perfectly. So you put the double sided tape on and as you wrap around it sticks to it and then you cover it in glue to turn the string solid. Uh, this way it'll be slightly more awkward for me but it should still work it's just the double sided tape sticks the uh, string as you're going so it doesn't move up and down right so that's the, the string wrap done I'm going to do this black with some leather dye hopefully this should work um, Oh, fucking thing. It will work if I can get the bloody. I've not got any sponges at the minute. I'm going to waste all this. I'm going to have to brush it on, I think. Yeah. But this will work if I can get it onto it. is completely bone dry looking hard so it's not really soaking up the stuff right you can see what's going on there anyway I shall carry on doing that black uh, keeping it off the metal and then I can varnish the handle sort of stuck on my fucking foot that was stuck in my shoe in my boots Oh look, I've got another one. You won't be able to see this, but uh, oh, I'm not, you know what? That was stuck right in my boot. I couldn't even feel it. These are right, quite cheap boots, either. Right, rambling on. Right, this is essentially finished now. All I need to do is varnish the handle. That's it. Take this tape off. It's done. It could do with a little bit of a sharpen, but I can do that at a later date. One good thing with these. Anglo Arms Bolo Machetes they come with a pretty decent sheath so I don't have to mess around doing that although I may need to shorten this one by about an inch probably doesn't need it but yeah it saves me making the sheath because that's an extra couple of hours so what you'll see next is it basically finished I might film myself putting the varnish on but that's just you know either spraying or brushing it on and then you'll see the finished product and some um, footage but yeah, this has been another one day build. I've done this all in one day. Started at about half two. And I think it's getting on for about eight o'clock now. So about six hours with filming. If I wasn't filming, it would be even quicker. So yeah, you'll see the finished product anyway. Right, I'm going to have to call it a day here for the um, footage of the whatever this is. Lang Messer, Gross Messer, Falchion. Um, I don't know, giant Bowie. I don't know, I don't know what you'd call this. I might do a little thing for people to let me know what they think it is. So, there's a little bit more work I need to do. I just need to clean up the blade and varnish the handle. It's taking too long to dry, which means I won't get it done tonight. But, I can do that at a later date. 
as in tomorrow morning or, t or tonight and um, you'll still get to see the rest of the video so this will be the, the last bit of the shed stuff but yeah I'm really happy with this I'll tell you what this is bloody lovely um, it's an absolute beast of a thing weighs I don't know how much it weighs I'll weigh it and let you know but compared to my short swords I've been making this is probably weighs more than both of those put together um, yeah, it feels really solid I can get two hands on it if I want um, yeah I'm really happy with this I, re yeah, I really like it so what I'll do now I'll do some high quality pictures and you'll see it all cleaned up and varnished handle and um, yeah, and in a couple of days I'll do a bit of bottle cutting with it yeah I'm really happy with that I think that's come out excellent in all honesty uh, and pretty much what I sort of had imagined right so there you go there's the Lang Messer Gross Messer or whatever it is <laughs> you'll be able to tell what I've decided it is by the title of the video so yeah there she is so don't forget to watch the rest of the video you'll see you know it fully finished right hope you got the video see you later